Can you hear the approaching ruin? <laughs> Today we are playing with Lilibet and Designer Lilibet because both of them got some massive freaking buffs. So here is my Lilibet. She is on some leftover gear, but I think the stats are pretty decent and I have her on creation and destruction. And then here is my Dilibet. She's been running pretty much the same gear since I pulled her. A counter set, decent stats, very high defense, and a Sigurd Sight. So let's take them to war and see what they can do. Now you may be wondering why I have two strippers here. The reason for that will be apparent very soon. We're going to start with the S3 with the Lilius to strip the Rowana and also uh, the attack break and the Vigor buff. Now the reason I brought Mui is not for the attack buff. It is for the S2 because the S2 not only stuns, it also lands bleeds. So I'm going to throw the S2 here. Hopefully I can land a bleed on someone not RB. I landed it on the Rowana. So because of Lilibet's new buff, if you attack with the S2 and you land a bleed, not land a bleed actually, if the person has a bleed after the S2, you pretty much get an additional turn. You don't get an additional turn. It's a 100% CR push. So we're going to throw the S2 onto the Rolana here because I don't think I need to throw it on the RB, okay? Right? So we get another turn. We did not proc the creation destruction. The damage on that was actually quite uh, disappointing. So we're going to S3 here on the RB with the Vigor buff. Are we strong enough to kill? She is pretty fast, so her attack is a little low. That is barely enough, dude. That was very, very close but we're st still able to pull it off. Now we're gonna attack into the crowd. Hopefully I can land a defense break, which I didn't. Unhealable, not really the same thing, right? We're gonna throw the S2 again under the Rowana. We will again get 100% CR push because that is a bleed on the Rowana. So we're gonna S1 on her, give her the unbuffable or the nothing. That's pretty much the same, right? The nothing. Now we're gonna S3 with the Mui because Mui's S3, actually this is gonna silence the Rowana, not the crowd because the Rowana is faster. There we go. At least we're not going to get the push. But we're going to sober in this and actually see if we can kill this freaking crowd. So let's go. We have an attack buff. And ooh, that is definitely not enough damage. Because of how fast my uh, girl is, the damage is a little low. Is he going to horse? He's going to horse. This is probably going to go on to my uh, Lilius. Is she going to live though? She is a little tanky. Oh, she actually freaking survived, dude. So let's provoke the Rowana. We do not want uh, the revive buff right now, although I don't think it's actually going to matter a lot. We're going to hit into her, see if we can get defense break. We don't get a touch of Reckless instead. Definitely not as good as a defense break. We'll attack into the crowd. We have to take him down just because, right? He is the threat here. So we're going to S2. Hopefully we can land a bleed on the crowd. Can we please? We do. So now we get another turn. Let's S1 on the crowd. The damage is okay, right? Like I said before, the damage is pretty okay because my little bit is 231 speed and she's also on leftover gear. Like I didn't want to ungear any of my better heroes for her if she performs, which, you know, she's pretty good right now. I actually will consider giving her some better gear. I think she deserves it. She was one of my better geared heroes before they released Tomoka, right? I used her a ton, but after they released Tomoka, she wasn't really as useful anymore. So, but dude, this is just... This is just pretty disgusting, right? I I really like this, man. Now, this battle here will be uh, a little long, but we're going bruiser against bruiser. My team is a little less bruisery. I have a Krau and an SSB, right? He has an A Ravi, C Lilius, and a freaking Bellion. Pretty much as gross as it can get, right? Now, let's just throw out the S3 here. Uh, no reason at all. I have nothing to cleanse, but I just want the reset, right? I want the reset. I want to do some damage here. So let's just do that. We're going to throw out the... Uh, let's push this girl back. I don't like this girl. Let's get a defense buff. There we go. All right. Oh, why do you have to attack her? Well, we got a counter at least, right? Yeah. So there we go. That's pretty nice. We're going to S3 here with the SSB. Uh, land some debuffs on here. Hopefully we get some unbuffables, right? Because the Bellion, I think she buffs herself every time or some stupid garbage. This Bellion things. Can you stop, dude? Okay, SSB. SSB has to pop off here. We need her to pop off, right? There we go. That's some pretty good damage. But I'm really scared for my Dilibet. She has a defense buff though, so she should live. 
She has like a bajillion defense right now. Let's just give her a whack. Can we just kill her right here? No. That was okay damage considering it is belly and she, you know, she's a pretty tanky girl. Let's S1 into her because I want to provoke her. Can we do that? Thank you. So that will save my uh, Dilbet's butt a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Now this should kill everybody, right? SSB is a beast. She's, she's a strong hero, okay? No, don't die, don't die. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Give her a hit. There we go. Give her another hit. Don't counter me. There we go. And we'll just finish it off with a crow. I don't want uh, my Dilbet dying because she will die this hit, right? So this is going to be pretty funny. We are going to try to snipe this Rumuru with the Luna. I'm going to S3 here on the Rumuru. This should for sure kill. This Rumuru is actually level 50. I didn't even realize that. So he's dead. Yeah, there we go. Actually, do I even need a sober? No, I don't actually want to sober. We're going to hit her normally, okay? Hit her normally. She gets the shield. There we go. We got a cigarette here. We're going to S2. Blow the crap out of this carrot. 20k damage. S3 on the Raz. You know. I didn't really need to go through all these steps. I probably could have just killed the carrot with a little Luna, but you know, I want to make use of Operator Sigurd, okay? It took me so long to freaking get her. I'm going to try to use her, okay, dude? This S1 here, finish it off with the Luna, dual attack. There we go. Easy, dude. Now we're going to try to make use of both little bits in the same team here. So I think it should work pretty well because this Piera landed debuffs, which means that it's going to cleanse my Delbet. My Delbet should be able to move, right? There we go. So now my Dilbet is going to S3. When the S3 pops off, it's going to push my uh, CC area. The CC area is going to push the Lilibet even more. So I think this should work pretty well here, right? She landed nothing, of course. Why would you land nothing? What the heck happened, dude? Okay, whatever. We're going to soul burn. We're going to S2 onto this uh, landy here. There we go. We landed a bomb on her. I don't want to blow this up, right? I don't want to accidentally kill this RB. So we're actually just going to land another bomb on her. I don't see a reason why I even did that, but it'll be fine. So we're going to actually risk it here. We're going to S2 into the landy. If we land a bleed on her, which I think we should. There we go. We land a bleed. So we should get 100% CR push. We're going to S3 into the freaking RB. We're going to kill RB here. So now the only one left is Piera. So we have no way of losing, right? We're going to win. We're for sure going to win. So there we go. We get an S1, you know, land a bomb, and Dilbet can finish it off with another S2. If you land a bleed, then you get another turn. When you get the reset, it is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna go